Hey, Railbirds, Kevin here. All right, we have another match for you from the first annual Eastside Billiards Winter Nine Ball Classic. We have Nathan Wallace versus Jordy Davis. That's Jordy uh, with the light gray shirt that just flipped a coin. That's Nathan with the uh, black T-shirt. I'm your host, Kevin Ross. Sherry's here too. We are coming at you live from Eastside Billiards here in Grand Rapids, Michigan. I'd like to give a shout out to our sponsors, Emerald uh, Spas, Divine Flooring Installation, Grind and Clothing Company, the West Michigan BCA Pool Leagues, and Don Bass, Bass. <laughs> it's all about that bass. Thank you for your support. And thinking, speaking of thank you for your support, Jar Hat, thank you very much for your donation. That was greatly appreciated. Thank you very much. Bobby Ballard, welcome in. Nice to see you. Hope you're doing well. Hello, Bobby. How's and that hat? Kirsten Bird, thanks for tuning in. Kirsten, I did hear Trevor Bird's name being called out, but I think that was during the auction, so I don't know if he's playing tonight. They're doing um, four, uh, two flights of tables tonight, and then we'll pick up again tomorrow at 10 a.m., and apparently you can find those brackets at the Eastside Billiards Facebook page. All right, the rules we are playing. We are playing some CSI rules nine ball. It is alternate break, rack your own. The nine ball on the break does not count as a win if it goes in the bottom two pockets. It does count as a win in the other four pockets. Jump cues are allowed, and there's no three foul rule. All right, that is Jordy Davis at the table racking. A pretty sweet player. Yep, I had the privilege of playing against Jordy at the uh, Michigan State Finals a few years ago. Uh, he ended up getting first in that tournament, and I got second. So, Jordy, very strong player. And I'm sure Nathan is too. I just don't know. Uh, I just don't know Nathan. I know, I know Jordy. I don't know Nathan. But obviously with a 720 Frogger rate, he's uh, known to be trifled with. Hey, remember to hit that thumbs up, subscribe, and ring that bell. If you don't ring that bell, you won't know when we go live. And then you'll miss it. All right, here we go, Jordy with the break. Yeah, the young man plays pretty sporty. Nice controlled break. He was, oh, oh, how wow. Many, wow, look he at made this three break. balls on the break. And the rest are like duck soup. Yeah. Wowzers. So what is that? What is that by the spot? Is that the four? That's the four. So you got the one, the two, and the four, and then five. The four down here by the spot. Then the five's back up table, and then the seven down here by the nine. And of course the. The people who have played a match tonight will not be playing until tomorrow afternoon. I think they told everybody who would be playing tonight and sent everybody else on their way. I believe the four passes to seven. Jordy's 
giving it a giving it a squiz. Waiting for players on the other tables. Yeah, for those listening, uh, Jordy was in the um, uh, Midland Saginaw area, and uh, he's moved to what was it uh, Indiana? He moved to. That's what I heard. Well, that's what he told us uh, oh, okay. more than a year ago at Derby City. Nice control. Yeah, I'd say um, most of these players are probably bar box players. There are some that play other, you know, like Alex Olinger and Shannon Murphy and uh, Jeremy Siemens, who was just playing, and they uh, they play on the nine footers. But I think for the most part, you know, well, most of the country, are, you know, has gone to bar box when um, thanks to Diamond, right? <laughs> thanks to Diamond for actually making a good seven foot table. You know, before that, uh, if you wanted a, a good table to play on, it had to be a nine footer. There were no high quality seven foot tables to play on. Is that a break and run for Jordy to start with? That's a break and run to start with. And I, I played him, I don't know, three or four years ago. And uh, it was uh, Dr. Pool tournament playing in the men's bees because that's where I have to play. And Jordy was playing in that. And there was other guys in the tournament that were like C pluses or something that we were having to spot a game to. The guy beat me and raced a five eight ball in like fifteen minutes. Had my cues broke down and put away, <laughs> and walking away from the table. And it had been fifteen minutes. A race to five. Mm -hmm. Hey, Jimbo. Jimbo, what's up? Long time no see. Of course, that was only five games. <laughs> I didn't get to win a game. I think mm -hmm. I got to. I, I twice. I actually got to shoot. <clears throat> during a game. All right, here we go. Nathan with the break. Yeah. Where is Nathan from? Hey, Sandro. Good Where's to see you, buddy. Sandro's in there? Where did Sandro. I Sandro. When are we going to Iceland? Kevin wants to go, and so I have to. <laughs> All right, Nathan's made a break, but he didn't get quite the same, you know, duck soup result that uh, Jordy got. No, no, Jimbo, don't come back here. You don't want to live here. Don't come back to Michigan. No, 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 no. Well, it depends. Where's he living now? Yeah, I don't know, but you moved out of here. <laughs> you escaped. Don't let the gravitational pull uh, pull you back. <laughs> it's not like Florida that you can't, uh, once you get, you can't get the sand out of your shoes and, you know, stuff like that. No, Michigan's not the same. This is not the state you're looking for. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what is Nathan looking at here? Is he uh, looking at uh, taking, uh, like, trying to slice this one in from, uh, from frozen to the end rail? Yeah, no, I wouldn't be wanting to do that. But I'm also not a 720 Fargo. I might be a, I don't even think I'm a 520 Fargo. Yeah, he might be a regular uh, nine foot table player and a seven foot table, this yeah. is like a hanger to him. I don't yeah. know. Uh, he thought he can slide in there. Oh, look at this. Look at this rubs. Oh, oh frozen my goodness. Too? Oh, and he's on wow. the side. Of, yeah. If it slid in behind, okay, it didn't go in behind him. Like if it slid in there and he can't even kick that side rail, that's going to. Wafer, wafer thin, and then 
Hey, let's just a couple uh, little love taps. Let's just uh, nestle, for good measure. Just right in there. Look at that. Oops. Oh, yeah. He he can't see the he, the side rail to shoot at it. He is behind the six. And he's jumping straight at it. Nice shot. Did he make he's, it? Oh, oh wow. <laughs> What an effort there, Jordy. Very nice. He's left on the edge of it. I don't think he can see it to make it. No, but I'm pretty not. sure he can see the edge of it. <clears throat> Probably next winter for Iceland. Yeah, I hear that's when you're supposed to go because those... those all those green stuff in the sky? Yeah, all that green and pinky stuff in the sky. I don't know, can he uh, just cross the once and cue ball back up table? It was the Plinko safety. Molly Bontrager, welcome in. Hey, Molly. <clears throat> Molly from Ohio, is she going to be on Team Ohio? Um, no, she's Indiana. in Indiana. Molly's from Indiana, not Ohio. Yep. Lucky for Michigan. <laughs> They try, uh, well, Lonnie tried to get her in because she literally lives uh, like some, miles. Uh, some like, loophole. <laughs> something like just, a, you know, a matter of miles from the border like of can, Michigan. If you can see the state from your house, then, uh, then that counts. <laughs> That's good enough. Yeah, there is a whole thing on Facebook about it. Well, if there are only so many miles between, you know, from, away from the state, can we get them? So right, instead. That was a great shot there by Jordy. Unfortunately, he's ended up a little too straight on this one. May just roll forward, bank the two. Sorry to interrupt. Yeah. So, so what's happened instead is that Indiana and uh, Indi and, and Illinois have put together teams and are putting together a tournament for another women's battle of the border. Details to come. Don't tell nobody. Hello, Hank. Uh, Hank White, I believe, if memory serves. Thanks for tuning in. <clears throat> All right, that is what he's, oh, I thought he made that. Yeah, but anyway, that was what he was doing. He was just playing for the bank on the two. Yeah, uh, the back up your shirt sleeve bank. <laughs> yeah, one of those. <laughs> You were right. You probably sent him a, 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 something in the mail or something. That's how you know that. <laughs> no, he was uh, watching uh, the Chelsea Hoyt uh, match. And mm. he says, hey, I like Chelsea. She spells her last name the same way I do. Oh, there you go. Chelsea is on Team Ohio. Uh oh, get away from that three. Oh, no. All right, and all right, jump bank coming up. And Sandra, I'm glad you uh, like our uh, upgrades. Hold on, let me see. Nope. Well, that did not go according to plan. All right, ball in hand for yeah. Jordy. So, ball in hand on the two, three balls hanging in the corner, and then the next ball, that's the five up table, and then the six down here by the nine, seven ball back up table. Okay, okay. Yep, yep. Just pointing out which ball is which in case you have a hard time telling the colors apart. Somebody's making 
comment about how many likes and how many people watching, but I'd like to t I would like to tell you that there n don't fret our hater is in the house. Oh good. We got the yeah. one thumbs down. We got okay, the one good. thumbs down. I was so, worried. No, nope, they're, they're good. They're still good. All right. COVID has not got them yet. Good, good. Don't panic. That is dedication, though. Yeah, it is. To come to every one of our live streams and most of our videos. Yep. To hit that thumbs down. That is some dedication. I admire it. I admire that kind of, I wish I had that kind of dedication. I can't be bothered. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's see, is he snatching this? No, he's coming two, three rails around. Okay. Watch out six. Good. Watch out side pocket. Watch out seven. seven. Oh, yeah, I think <laughs> he, he's good here. He threaded those needles quite nicely. Are well you done. hitting this with inside to try to come inside the seven or coming back outside of it? Uh, the first one. Just want to make sure you leave yourself a little bit of angle. And while well, he's left himself a little bit of angle. No, he would have liked a little bit more angle, I think. Yeah, he may draw back for uh, short side on the seven. Thank you very much, John. <laughs> On a 65-inch TV. Yeah, that's how you watch this. Only watch it on your phone if you're at work, at school. No, no, no not at school. I take that one back. Pay attention at school. That's pretty good speed control. Yep. Nathan agrees. That's said. good. That's good. All right. Two nothing. Race to seven. And that's us. Yeah, Sandra says he usually does a thumbs up, but it's been so long he's out of practice. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, when we haven't had anything for almost a year, 11 months and three weeks or whatever since the last time we streamed. Well, we've had some Derby City videos go up with yeah. uh, Jeremy Jones and Skylar Woodward doing some commentary. So go check those out if you haven't seen them already. Yeah, how awesome is that? And we're going to get a little British commentating in this weekend. Spoilers. I'm not telling them who. But if y'all like that British accent uh, commentating, definitely be here for the semis and the finals. You should be here for all of it. No excuses. Ryan Moore, Kevin Hall, table number one. Ryan Moore, Kevin Hall. That is. Can he cut that too? Uh, can he bank it up six, table? Six might be in the way for the cut. John, that is a negative. Barry is not here. Barry Childers? Yeah, he is not here. Oh, Jennifer, glad you're enjoying it. All right, is he going to try to bank this two out of there? What's he doing? Really on the six? Okay. Uh, does that three still go? Does he have to play like a three nine billiard? Or just bump the three to the other side of the nine? Well, more than just bumping it to the well, other side. Well, he's got to get back there, too. Yeah, he's got to make this tough shot on the two first. That was just... Uh, yeah. I was just, I was just giving him that two. What if you bank it and draw the cue ball back? Bank the two instead of trying to cut it. Doesn't look to me like the like the angle sits right for that. Like you'd be drawing it right into the eight if you tried right, that. Say, hoo -hoo. He, he, he knew that side was going to be close there. <laughs> now is he looking at this billiard? Or is he just going to push the three past the nine and... Uh, that's that's especially with the little bit of uh, 
the distance and over the pocket, corn, you know, the point of the, uh, the knuckle of the side pocket, of the middle pocket. <laughs> so I'll get, I'll get used to my terminology. Yeah, we've got to practice before uh, our guest of honor arrives on uh, Sunday. Mm -hmm. and he's bridged up over the, uh, the knuckle of the middle. <laughs> Wait, trundle? I've never heard that one. What's trundle? Isn't that a kind of... Isn't that like a bed? Ooh. Aye. All right, he's left a good opportunity for Nathan to get in this match. That's the uh, four ball up by the upper left corner, so that's what he's going to be playing position on. Yeah. And just cut this ball in and let the cue ball naturally go to rails. Yeah, just, it should miss the nine. Just uh, just don't get behind the five when you're golden. Yeah. Well, the place is starting to clear out once their people are done with their matches. They're heading for the exit. Come back and do this again tomorrow and then hopefully the next day. That's what they're hoping. Yeah. Having a little bit of trouble with his speed, it seems, Nathan is. Trundle is a uh, slow roll. Okay, I had never heard that terminology. Four, John Rummel, Josh Aldefe. Game number four. Josh <laughs> Thank you, funny. Josh All right, Nathan on the scoreboard. Trails one to two. It's a race to seven. Okay, that's it. Just looking to see where Nathan is from. He is from Ohio, somewhere in Ohio. I bet a horse named Trundle Bundle back in 1996, and he's still trying to cross the finish line. <laughs> Sean Lewis. Sean Lewis. Sean hey, M. Sean. F. And Lewis is in the house, y'all. Hey, I thought you could sneak in there, huh? How's that Sharky Waters thing going? He joined Sharky Waters uh, officially. And for those of us who don't know what Sharky Waters is, what is it's, that? Uh, they do podcasts and um, stuff. Uh, they're uh, out of Oregon. And they get, uh, you know, good players come on. And they play some pool. And they ask them a bunch of questions. And they things like that and Sean was on one or two of the shows and uh, they just did a sh put a thing out a few months ago where Sean has actually joined the team full time right on wealth of knowledge and that that guy yeah, is we should, get the, Sean, we should get Sean Lewis to do some remote commentary yeah, for there us you go. and then we could both take a break stay. No, that's that's Leo. That would be Leo. <laughs> that's that's Leo Violet. You could just give him, yeah. We could. We love you, Leo. No offense, <laughs> we're just joking. But no, John is uh, the seven, Lambert, always Robert, the Robert, student Robert, of the game, Lambert, learning, yes. learning, learning. Practice, practice, practice. Plays pretty sporty too for a little guy. <laughs> yeah, so does Nick Barner. Yeah.
Oh, so this is literally taking longer to rack the balls than it is to play the game. No. Let's get some template racks. Go out in the car and get our uh, Aki rack. It's at home. It's not in the new car. Cindy Medina. How sweet too. it is. <laughs> All right, here we go. Nathan has successfully frozen all of the balls to the table. Yeah, and I was wondering if he was ever going to get them to all sit down. All right, he's not going with the soft break this time. And let's see. He's Three. made a ball. No, he didn't. He did not make a ball. I thought nope. I saw one go nope. in. Never They're mind. Wide open. Wide open for Jordy. Shoot the one in the side, roll forward, two in the other side, three in the other side. Uh, roll forward for the four. Coming back for the five is really the only, you know, four to the five is the only thing even remotely tricky this rack, I think. Yeah. That's really not that tricky. let the cue ball roll just a little too far and yeah, it did. Had five balls kind of in the way to go up and down. Yeah, and then eight's in the way to try to cut the two up in the corner and like use the seven to hold the cue ball. You have to you know kind of dodge you know between the five six over there. I have to do a little crocheting out there. Uh, no knitting it's finer. And crocheting. You can use a fine needle for crocheting. That's the way he's going between the five six. And All right, he's back in line. Nice shot. You just go to the end rail and back up, right straight up it towards the four. And his owner would like uh, to remind Josh from Bay City to uh, like the feed. No. This is perfect angle to come back up for the five. Yeah, it is. Did it come about that second diamond right in front of him there? He'd like to hit that middle diamond and have the cue ball going up towards uh, out towards the five from there. Doesn't want to come deeper than that because then he's too straight to get on the six. Oh my goodness, he's he took his eye off the ball or something there and. So he, had, just he, had, a, uh, he had rolled just a hair too far on the force. So it was a slightly thinner cut than he wanted, and he was trying to really spin it to try to hold the cue ball and overspun it, is, my, is what I think happened. Yeah. But yeah, very uncharacteristic miss from uh, Jordy. Yeah. Well, when he was living in Bay City uh, in Saginaw area, he was um, he was uh, at uh, well, why can't I um, who's who billiards and all they have is super duper tight seven uh, well they do have a couple of nine foot diamonds but uh, they all play on the uh, super tight uh, seven foot diamonds there so this was his life. Yeah, the cue ball on the rail. This is uh, this is a tough one. Yeah, it is. Just said, just cut the four in, and uh, then what do we do with the five? Play safe on the five, bank the five. Uh -huh. Thanks for dropping in, Hank. Uh, hope to see you again over the weekend.
What does Nathan decide? Is he going for the bank? He is going for the yeah, bank and miss. swish. Yep. Yeah, and he... Is it expired? Yeah, and, and for a minute there, he actually was waiting for somebody on the other table to shoot. So he's... Well, he was waiting for someone else to shoot, and also uh, the waitress knocked his uh, cue sticks over also. Yeah. Table number five, Shotty and Ed Krause. Table number five, Shotty and Ed Krause. I think that slowness was the exception and not the rule. Yeah. All right, evens it up. Two piece, race to seven. Well, thank you guys for tuning in today. Yeah, Hang we out. have uh, we have lots of pool coming up. This is our last match of the night, but we got two more days of pool. Probably people jonesing for some live streaming of actual uh, people playing pool against each other and not uh, people, you know, playing the ghost at home. Which there's nothing wrong with, but I can only watch so much of that. Wow, they were all running for the holes. Uh, and one of them finally decided, the one finally decided it was going to go on the side. It thought about it for a second. <laughs> and then it finally made up its mind. Yeah. So I think he has a shot on this to the side. But where's that cue ball going? See, we got playing around the room. I see Mr. John Brummel, Tony Flannery. You mean Anthony Flannery? Yeah, I come, I'm like, what is this, Anthony? How you doing, Anthony? What's up with that? <laughs> All right, nice shot on the two, and well, he's got to look at the three. And let's see, that's the four ball down here below the five. So, yeah, he's got some work to do here. And those are the only people I see that um, that I see that are in a match that I actually know Beautiful right now. Shot. Hey, face man. Hey, has it been a year since you've uh, since you've heard that phrase? <laughs> Where's the cue ball going? Uh, where's Wambra? Where is Wambra? Now we got a whole weekend. He'll he'll find his way here eventually. He's probably feeding the cats. That takes a long time. He's got a lot of cats. <laughs> I mean, I'm, we're going to have to have words. Curtis was here immediately, and Wambra is nowhere to be found. We're going to have to send out a search crew. Yeah, picking his way through this nice and easy here, huh? Yeah, I may have to play short side on the seven. Yeah, that's, that's why he's drawn over to it. That's not a problem for... For a player of his caliber? Yeah, he's a player. I think uh, just, roll this the, just roll this in the side, roll forward. Yeah, yeah, out to the center of the table a little bit. And... Okay, I decided to go up to the corner and... He's going to end up having to accept that. Are you trying to run three rails around yeah. here? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, definitely. Maybe even to the fourth. 
I'd rather, hit it really uh, hard. I'd, rather, I'd rather not hit the fourth because you can end up going way too far. Yeah. Uh, he's made this tough, you know, hitting that thin and uh, it's good pace. No hill for a climber. But he's into free to free climbing. Oh wow! Was not expecting gonna, that. He's going to come down here and freeze on the end rail, yeah, though. Good cue ball speed. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, that's a tough one to make without scratching. Want to play safe? Anything? This is tough. I think I might want to bank it. Bank it with some speed. Hope you get lucky. I don't know. That's how the pros do it. Yeah. Rip it and rip it. Just ask Sky. He'll tell you. Yeah, that's so close to a scratch. And we could cut it the other way. Isn't that what he's looking at is cutting it the other way? Cutting it to the bottom left here on screen? Well, he was looking at the cue ball path. But, yeah. uh, I mean, it looks like if you cut the nine that way, that right. a lot less likely to scratch. Yeah. Much more difficult shot. <clears throat> I don't know, just uh, thin the nine, you know, bank the nine to the bottom rail, skew ball back up table again. You know, just over, overcut the nine. Yeah, so he is, he's cutting it to the bottom left. Oh, he's banking it. That's a bit wide, and that's going to leave a pretty nice shot for Jordy. Yep. Well, yeah. oh, it kept on going a little bit. I thought yeah. it was going to stop before then. Nah, he's good. He's just going to push the cue ball forward here, and he should be good. There we go. All right. Takes the lead back. 3-2. Race to seven. Yeah, it's getting quiet in here. It's a okay. I have to uh, go get my uh, my medication. I'll be right back. I'll you're just back, wait. You're back already. I'll just wait. We're done after this match. All right, he's made two on the break, and he's going to have a good shot at this one. Does the one go by the seven? It looks like the one does go by the seven. The two ball's gone, so the three ball is next. Uh -huh. uh, no ends on, like, literally my prescriptions for my doctor, <laughs> for my heart. Yeah, you got to be more specific <laughs> yeah. for your heart. Yeah, no, this was my uh, my my actual prescriptions for your heart. For my heart. Yeah, there's something about having to take blood thinners after you have a stent put in, so you don't have another heart attack or something. I don't know. Yeah, be sure you stay tuned all weekend. There's a lot of really good players in this tournament. Going to have some really good matches coming your way. I think Jordy uh, 
overkilled that ball. He's a little, ended up a little, little straighter on this three than he wanted. He's going to have to finesse it out just a little, uh, come out as good as he can. Push it forward, two rails. Yeah, just take a slightly longer shot on the four, but. Yeah, because all you got to do is stop the cue ball right around in that area for the six. <laughs> I didn't know they had a dabbing emoji, but apparently they do. At least it's not Cam Newton. The dance move dabbing. Go, Anthony Flannery. <laughs> now, um, somebody, if they're using the beads, is up four to nothing on Tony's match. Oh, interesting choice. I thought he would uh, like come one rail down and cut the eight in, but and play the combination. But he's playing the he played for the combination. Uh, I'd love to say, I hate to inform you, but it looks like Tony is down five nil. Oof. All right, Jordy extending his lead four to two. Race to seven. Um, I know they're Canon. They're Canon cameras. Yes, they are. Canon video cameras. Kevin would know that more than I would. Uh, that <laughs> table sprung a leak. Uh, except the one, except the cue ball and the two ball are at opposite ends of the table. They're not uh, cooperating. Nice little uh, safety there. Looks like he's going to try to kick at his bottom rail, just trying to kick the two ball up table. If he can get that cue ball over behind 9-7 would be pretty nice. Kirsten, I'm, I'm going to go check on that. He's playing on table 16 right now. I'll go see if I can find a score for that match for you. All right, good hit. And did that 2 7 line up uh, to the side? I don't. I don't know. Mm. 
Well, that ball might have leaked out. Oh no, Cindy. Nothing worse than a buffering stream. Oh, nice shot. Is he going to get a shot on this three? Well, it goes up table, so it is a shot. All right, score is two to two for Trevor Burge match. Thank you for checking. And Kirsten, thanks you for checking, I'm sure. Oh, that's a nice shot. Short side on the five for the corner, but it works. All I gotta do is make the five natural shape on the six. Just bump this up there into the corner. That's uh, the uh, Fargo says he's from Ohio, but that shirt is from West Virginia. Yeah, but the league room is uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> like. Uh, um, 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 I'm drawing a blank on her name. The person who runs the MLRT. Uh, Angela. Angela. And like she says, you know, it's practically Ohio because yeah. it's the very western tip of West Virginia. And so she says, she says, yeah, it's practically Ohio. Yeah. And uh, these are um, seven foot tables we're playing on today. Tony's not having a good time with it over there. He's he's about to lose, about to get skunked. That's uh, out of the ordinary for Tony. Who is he playing over there? So it was a pretty nice out there by Nathan and definitely desperately needed here because uh, Jordy's break, I think, has been working a little bit better than Nathan's, at least with, uh, you know, making balls and getting a shot afterwards. So that's that's tough to fade. So you, know, you oh. can't let can't let these uh, games get away. So that was a that was a nice out there. That would explain it. He was playing Shannon Murphy. Tony Flannery was. That's why it wasn't going very well for him playing one of the best players in the room. Here we go, Nathan with the break. All right, nice break. He's made two on the break. He's going to have a shot on the He's one. He's got a shot he on the one. Everything's... Two balls gone. Three's right. Yeah, this is great. Yep, it looks like we're going to have a... Uh... Maybe a... Uh... Tied match here in uh, another minute or two. <laughs> I'm just gonna 
And it's the four over there by the corner. Yeah, so I think the five ball's just going to hold him a little bit there. I think he's... Yeah. No, yep. I was going to say, I think you would rather not move the five because the five was in a pretty nice spot from where the four is. Yeah, I, don't, I think he didn't have a choice, really. You know, one rail up just past center of the table. Yeah, he'll be he'll be fine. Sit, Ubu. Um, he's coming a little far. Is it the six next? Yeah, the, the six, six is on next. the side he's, rail. Yeah, this is okay. He's fine, yeah. He'd like to have had the other angle, but this is good. Bobby Ballard. Howdy. Bobby's back. How's my hat, Bobby? I actually told he has, he has uh, your hat? I got him that hat and I got that hat for him at uh, Derby City oh, last yeah. year and got uh, Shane and Billy and Sky and a bunch of people to sign it for him. You're so nice like that. Yeah, I actually, well, even nicer, I told, uh, uh, told what's his name at Hustlin'. Why am I drawing a blank on his name right Tony? now? Tony. At Hustlin' that he should make shirts with the, or hats with the stitching with, like, nine ball champ, ten, you know, for the <laughs> derby and have all, so that people can get the champs of, from the derby to sign it. All right, nice break and run there by Walt, by uh, Nathan Wallace. Ties it up. Yeah, Four piece. Yeah, let's have a look at that. Uh, have a look at that break. Boom. Yeah. Everything's fighting for the holes, and this just all lines up beautifully. Oops, wrong button. I keep doing that. I keep hitting the wrong button. I'm still uh, figuring this out. Yeah, and then why, why we were doing nothing during COVID, we were uh, upgrading some some software and some new hardware and just haven't had a lot of live streams to uh, to practice on. Yeah, but they are coming. Uh, KS, now these are seven footers, seven foot. Blue diamonds. Hey, down in front. Is that John Brummel? That That's sure John is. John Brummel, yeah. Well, the guy's like six and a half feet tall. Yes, he is. <laughs> wow, well, uh, he's named two balls. Two balls, no shot on the one. No shot on the one, and that four has landed kind of funny also. Mm -hmm. So we're probably going to be playing for a bank shot on the four once we get that far. Sorry, William, I do not know uh, what type of uh, Q sticks they're playing with or, or any other. I can tell you, it looks like uh, Nathan is using a carbon fiber shaft. I can tell you that. <laughs> is he pushing out? No, oh, no, you don't push here. I didn't think that. It looked like he was getting ready to push out. <laughs> <laughs> He did push out. Now, Nathan might be able to come off this one and get the cue ball behind the three, but. Oh, that's a tough shot. Lou. He might be passing this um, one back. Hello. My chair just sunk. 
Okay. <laughs> For no reason. Now I feel like I'm sitting on the floor or in a Corvette. not liking this. I mean, the only thing I really see is, you know, trying to come off the one and you know, try to get the cue ball behind the three, but that's a tough shot from this angle. Yeah. I'm not liking it. He's not liking it. No, give it back to him. If you got to look at it that much, pass oh. it back. Hi, John. Oh, John's back again. Oh, that worked out nice. Nice little that works. little double kiss there. All right. Uh, Jordy's got the jump cue. Yeah, he's, he's usually pretty good with it. We'll see what he does here. But uh, Jordy's uh, usually fairly uh, accurate with, uh, well, just about any cue. But he's usually <laughs> Yeah, pretty good. Does pretty well with the jump cue. Yeah, everybody looks at that Fargo and think, oh, they've got to be proficient at everything. And you'd be surprised how many people with those high Fargos hate jump cues. Yeah, usually the ones they've been playing for a long time and yeah. know, before the jump cues were as uh, ubiquitous as they are now. Or I think Earl Strickland might even use one. Look at that. Oh, nice shot. That was pretty there. that to float just a little bit more. Got a little bit too flat on this six ball. I think he's just going to have to accept rolling up and taking the longer cut on the seven. Oh, he's able to get out of there. That was a nice shot. Never heard this song. Oops. Hmm. You keep hitting the wrong button. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, Joseph, there's probably three guys in the room that would be considered pros, probably. Although there are several with Fargo rates that would suggest otherwise. But I would say um, uh, yeah, my brain, my brain farting again. Um, 
Alex Olinger. Uh, Shannon Murphy. Jeremy Siemens. John, he likes to uh, play all the shots from this end of the table, doesn't he? Yep. <laughs> all right, that's a pretty nice break. It's a real nice break. A nice shot on the one. No problem getting to the two. Three ball, four. Yeah, the four to the six to the seven is going to be the key here. Oh, Sandro changed his uh, his icon. That must be why I keep glazing over and not seeing him because it's not Sandro's. <laughs> Uh, Sandra, we um, pick up at 10 a.m. Eastern Time tomorrow, correct? That's what I heard. I'll, I'll definitely verify that before, uh, before we leave. So, yeah, 7 a.m. Pacific. Sorry about that, guys. Technical difficulties. We are back. <laughs> Not very technical or very difficult, but... <clears throat> Does Nathan go for this cut on the six here? That's wow, a, that's a pretty nice shot there. Yeah. And if that eight is going to stop right in the way, nope, eight's out of the way of the bank. He can cut this in or he can bank it. Everybody's over there going, shoot already. <laughs> <laughs> you can't tell me he's not slow. <laughs> <laughs> Cutting it in the side, going a couple of rails around for the eight in the same pocket. Well, overran it a little bit, but with you know, the way you just shot that seven, this is no problem. Nathan ties it up. All right. Once We're again. going to go the distance, and uh, just like that Fargo says we should. <laughs> right? You're exactly right. So how many how many break and runs have we had? That wasn't a break and run, though, was it? That, uh, I don't think that was a break and run, but we've had a few this match, that's for sure. Yeah, I think you're gonna, he's going to get treated to a whole bunch of break and runs this weekend. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, um, so the, the uh, BCA or whatever they're going by these days, they considered 720, above 720 uh, a pro, and you can't play in any of their uh, amateur events with a Fargo that high. But uh, there is actually no set number, you know, as far as Mike Page and Fargo is concerned that is pro. Is that correct? As far as I know. 
But BCA, because they are amateur, they have a cutoff for their events at the 720 mark. Another nice break. Oh, he's going to get hooked behind this those three. Yep. That's just uncalled for. Yep. Well, yeah. Uh, sorry, I didn't update the score. So I was talking about the score, but I forgot to actually update it. Sorry about that. So, yes, the score is 5-5. Five, five. Uh, he's jumped for a push out. I, I was thinking he'd push straight up the rail there. <laughs> he's jumped for a push out. <laughs> he's pushed out for a jump. Yeah, whatever. Says, have yeah, at it. he's like, have fun with that. He's like, y you know, this is hanger, right? You saw the last one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Pardon me, sir. Did you mean to give this back? Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> no, I thought he would go for the uh, the SVB push to the toughest shot on the table. And hey, oh, nice. Keep the cue. Or is that the two right in front of him? No, oh, that's the six in front of him. Do it again. that three go? I mean, even if he makes, you know, a great uh, hit on this jump. Like Damn. that. Holy smokes. I mean, yeah. And a shot. Yeah. Wow. Now what? This guy is a jumping maniac. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, he, you got to play the rub off the nine here. So do you draw into it to play the rub, or do you let it go forward and don't hit it too hard so that it doesn't come so creaming off the nine where you fall the five ball right into the corner? Well, looks like he's going uh, option A, drawing into the nine. Yep. Oh, he's, really he's, up, he's, he? he's trying to miss the nine. He's trying to draw a high of the nine. I didn't think there was any way to avoid it, but that works, I, mean, I guess. Kirsten, yeah, I'll go check that up in just a second. I have the people behind us. Where there's matches by, right behind us, too, and I'm trying not to move around so much and jump up out of my chair. So that is a hell of a nice shot there, Mr. Brummel. Is he making nice shots, too, over yeah, there? Yeah, he just made a really nice uh, bank on the nine.
Oh, get out. Get. Oh, jeez. <laughs> that would have been. Uh, that would have been brutal after that run out. Wow, what a way to get to the hill. Holy cow. Thank you guys for tuning in. I am Kevin Ross. So right now, Nathan is thinking, well, I guess I can't leave this guy a jump shot. All right, nice break. He's made two on the break, and he's got a shot. Combination to start with, and... It looks like that Trevor's look. match has just ended, and I got there and did not get to see who won. So I think that four ball might be frozen on the rail. I don't think that four is necessarily a hanger. Best player ever from Ohio would be Corey Duell. He was was from Ohio, correct? I don't I'm know. pretty sure he is originally from Ohio, but he lives out in California or somewhere now. And if it's not Corey Duell, then it's Billy Thorpe. <laughs> yeah, I think that four was on the rail. That was not a hanger. All right, Dory's on the hill. He's got a nice opportunity here to close out this match. We know he knows how to close the deal. You gotta hit the ball, Jordy. <laughs> Came up a little short. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, so Kirsten, you should be able to find out those results very shortly at the Shalange.com. Um, brackets can be found at the East Side Billiards Facebook page. There's a link, a couple of posts down from the top. Oh, behind the back. I didn't think it was that then, but I guess it is. Yeah, just kick it in. No, don't kick it in. No, no just thin <laughs> don't it do in. That. Yeah, thin it that way. If you're going to thin it in. Oh. Don't kick it in. If the, if, the, if the two was in a better spot, I would say kick it in, but I don't really like where the two is. No, I think he's better off doing it this way here. Uh, got a nice little bump from the eight there. Not out of the woods yet, though, because I don't. That that five, five does not pass the seven. No, it doesn't. So you either got to really kill this ball to play it for the five in the side, or come up for a cross side bank. Yeah, what if, what if you bank the two and hold the cue ball there for the five? Bank the two down table. Cue ball slide over some towards the five, right? Instead of trying to cut it in the corner. He's a good bank. I mean, he's a great player. Uh, 
I don't like having to do this here. Man. What a shot. That's a nice shot. Nicely done. Well, John Putnam, that's a good player. Um, does uh, Shane Winters, is he Ohio? Or is he is a Chicago, is near Chicago and uh, Illinois? Shane Winters is from uh, the Toledo area, I believe. Toledo, yeah. Shane Winters plays pretty darn sporty, too. Oh, I've, my goodness. I, oh, wow. I mean, that was not a, an easy shot because that's a small opening from that angle. But I was, ex I was expecting him to make mm -hmm. it. He was probably expecting to make it. Yeah, but Shane Winters, I think, is somebody that uh, could, you know, in the near, very near future be one of the contenders for the Moscone Cup. Seven fifty six Fargo, so he's climbing. Yeah. He's getting up there. He's and he's in this tournament. Yeah. I thought he overhit it. Wow. Well, this definitely is the makings of a hill hill match. What about uh, Shannon the Cannon? Was he from? Ohio? He's from somewhere here in the Midwest. I don't remember which state, though. I'm, <clears throat> I'm really bad at uh, knowing which state well, which players um, are from. The, the, that huge, like, break cue thing that uh, is uh, kind of a thing. Uh, but uh, Shannon Dalton is from the area. Richard says this angle is out of focus. Well, I can't uh, do anything about it right now. This match is almost over, and yeah. it's the last match of the night. But I will double check that uh, before we start streaming tomorrow morning. I mean, it looks okay to my eyes, but I'm not looking at it on a 65-inch TV either. Yeah. But I'll, I'll double check that tomorrow morning. Looks like uh, Shannon Dalton, it says, lives in now in uh, Columbia, South Carolina. Hill, hill. Thrill, like, thrill. Just like Far Great said it would be. Yeah, Jordy is not happy about that, about that miss on the five. Yeah, no, this match is supposed to be over, right? He felt like that was a hanger and he should have had that. I mean it looked like a tough shot to me, but he felt like he felt like he should have had that. Well, I kind of feel like he should have too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, did you clean both lenses on your glasses or just one? No. <laughs> <laughs> TMI. TMI, William. Don't make me ban you, Snooker. Nap, nap, nap. That's worse than are these guys' pros. <laughs> Take away that wrench. Yeah, but <laughs> he doesn't want it anyway. Jordy Quick Shades McQuaid. <laughs> All right, Jordy, with the final break of this match of this night. Yep. At least of this live stream. The final break of this live stream tonight. Wow, how did he not make three balls? Well, he made one at least. He's got and, his, and it wasn't the white one. He's got a shot. It's not a great shot. 
Bank the one cross side. Keep them all up table for the two. Can he do that? Can he cross the one? I think I think he can. But I don't know how far he can get up table. Oh, maybe. <clears throat> Saying maybe cross the one for a safety, and that's uh, when oh. he's attempting. Yeah. Well, he hasn't left anything easy. I mean, just making the one is tough, and getting back for the two is also tough. Looks like he's looking at uh, just kind of banking the one out of there and trying to get the cue ball behind the the five. The cue ball, cue ball to the side rail and over. Yeah, to rail the one out of there and keep draw the cue ball to the side rail and back in behind the five, something like that. No, he's just going to roll it up. up. That's even easier. Yeah. Nice shot, and he didn't leave like a hanger one in the side for Jordy to jump in. Yeah. Jumping Jordy. Got the jump cue out. Nope. There's oh, there's John, John Brummel. There's John Brummel right on cue. Always trying to photo bomb us. Yeah, that guy. He's he's just such a camera poor <laughs> hog. Sorry, was the wrong H word. <laughs> We've got a great hit, and is, is he, he going to get rewarded? Going to get a safe out of this? Get yep. Look at this. And he's putting his hand up in a little bit of apology there, like, sorry, dude. And wasn't planned, but I'll take it. Can you see the edge of it? I don't think he, he can. can. I think you'd uh, have to go rail first. Yeah, he could spin rail first, but, you know, even if you go rail first and make the one, uh, you know, cue ball's gonna be cue ball's gonna be going like towards like the seven ball in that area and I don't know, there's just not much reward for that. No. I mean, do you really wanna roll the dice that much when uh, when it's hill hill? No, I wouldn't be trying to play it, I'd be trying to get safe with it. Hopefully catching the one real thin. Cue ball coming in between that uh, four five, but you got to get it. You know, you got to get a rail after that too, right? You're just hitting it doesn't do any any good. Here we go. He's going to try to spin this ball in. Yeah. Oh. Is the four going? Nope. Uh, yay. Well, you know, he's he's still got to come with something here. It's not easy getting out on this two ball. You, you know, cue ball's, you know, not going the proper direction here when cutting the one. The five ball's in the way to come back out that way. 
Yeah, you have to just you spin this inside. Yeah, you gotta just, well, you can you can cut the one in and just barely miss the five. You know, with a little bit of left spin, but that is, I mean, you gotta just barely miss that five to come back towards the middle of the table. Yeah. Mm. You know, if you try to go like rail first, come under the five and come around, uh, yeah, your cue ball's gonna end up in this like the seven six area. Looks like he's just cutting it in, just trying to avoid the five. And he did brush the five, but he can still see the two, I think. Yeah, he can still see the two, so. All right, safety coming up. Is it going? Is it going? It's not. Not going and hanging in the jaws. Return the favor. Two balls hanging in that corner, three balls hanging in this bottom right corner, and then after that is the four. The four is the one over on that left, up a upper left of the nine. Five balls up table, six balls, one right next to the cue ball, and then the seven balls just above that. So making the two and making the three, obviously no problem. Three to the five, I Depends how you get on the three, but it shouldn't be a problem. No. Five to the six, I, he was looking at uh, staying inside of the seven from the five to the six. Uh, yeah, because you, you do have to get past center table to get the, I mean, even where he is right now, I, I think can he, he, he might be able to shoot the six from where he is there. He'd probably have to be over a little bit further. Yeah, either you need to be all the way over here or up against that right side rail. Try to get back up table a little bit here. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, he's still trying to decide which side of the, which side you want to be on. You want to come down uh, by the rail or out to the middle of the table? Yeah. I think I'm liking, yeah, down by the rail. I think that's an easier target to hit. Yeah, you can go forward and miss the nine to go from the six to the seven, or you could come back, draw over to the side rail and back across if he comes to the uh, inside the uh, seven for the six. Yeah, and if you, want to, if you want to play for the middle of the table for the six, then I would want to go... Two rails from the five, you know, the, you know, using that left side rail as the second rail, so you're coming at the line of the six. I wouldn't want to just go one rail down the middle of the table and just relying on speed control. Uh oh. Lock it. Oh wow. Oh, oh. Yikes. <laughs> it's about to get entry. Uh, yes, Sandra, that is correct. So given where he's ended up, he may be, uh, he may have to just try to just come one rail up towards the middle of the table, and just hope to have good speed control. Oh, and 
he's caught it a little bit full, and that's killed his speed. He's and he caught that five a little too full, and that killed his speed on the cue ball, and I think he's come up short. Somebody who I'm surprised isn't here. I'm surprised Evan isn't here. Evan Linda. Yeah. There's a monster. <clears throat> but he's oh, that's a nice shot there, Nathan. He's more. Uh, he's just going to jump this in. You know that, right? I do know that. Yes. <laughs> um, but uh, I guess Evan's more of a uh, one pocket and bank guy than he is a rotation player. Is what I've heard. And that's what I've heard from you. Well, I asked why he wasn't, uh, you know, like um, when they were putting together the men's um, thing for the Battle of the Border Team Ohio versus Team Michigan, and I thought Evan should have been on Team Michigan. I, I at the time, I didn't know Jeremy Seaman. Um, mm -hmm. So, and there, he, his Fargo is a little bit higher than his, but earlier last, you know, last year, early in the year, one of the only tournaments to happen for the major events was Derby City. And Evan finished fifth overall at Derby City. You know, as, you know, based on you know recent uh, performance, I thought Evan would be on the team, but he wasn't. Wow, uh, he's, he's, he's going to get lucky. Gonna he's going to get, get safe. safe. Oh, look at this! <laughs> and almost all the way down on the rail. Something, wow. something about sun shining and a dog. <laughs> <laughs> fill, in, fill in the rest of the words. <laughs> Yeah, when it gets comes down to Hill Hill, everybody, you know, your muscles start to get tight. I don't care what your Fargo is. <laughs> muscles start to tighten up in the arm. You, know, you start holding your breath, which means your eyes get blurry because, you know, smallest uh, blood vessels in your body are in your eyeballs. Right, Ray? Talk about sharking the Phil no, You can't shark a Filipino. Have you seen the conditions they play in? Chickens running around the table. <laughs> I mean, come on. Have to step over the dog to shoot. Right. I mean. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, that's some trippy stuff <laughs> to watch them play. I mean, while the you know the people, it, it looks like the you know like the pit of the stock exchange, the way they're doing side bets and everything <laughs> around, you know, right? Meanwhile, in America, if uh, if uh, someone uh, sneezes, you know, three houses down, Earl Strickland's you know throwing a tantrum. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Double kiss the nine. Nope. Well, it did, but not into the pocket. There. Wow. Yeah, there's, uh, things are uh, rolling for Jordy and just yeah, not are. for Nathan. Yep. At least this game and maybe a couple of previous games. Yeah, well, you know, Jordy did give him that game to get, you know, where it, it match should have been over yeah, seven when five. That, when he had that five in the yeah. side, yeah. Yes, Sandro, they, they, they have an unfair advantage. A, they're Filipino. Um, <laughs> B, they're Filipino. Well, that's... Oh, wow. my goodness. Where's this cue ball going? It's going to sit right up. Yep, it's going to leave it tough. Yep. Nathan, yeah, Nathan's uh, wondering, how come every time he misses, you know, <laughs> I get this, and every time I miss, I leave him straight in. Mm -hmm. He misses better than you. Yeah, you need to practice uh, missing. Get better at missing. That. Yeah, I want to see that uh, young kid that everybody's talking about that's like spotting Efren and stuff over there. And uh, I'm not talking about Anton Raga. Unfortunately, I think a lot of people do now. Well, he's got to put a good nice stroke shot. on this. Yeah. <laughs> 
Uh, yes, that is true. <laughs> yes. And, and C, they're Filipino. Yep. Nice. Uh, wow. Well, yep, he, he came and got it. All right. Nathan Wallace. Wow, what a uh, what a nice match that was. That yep. was literally anybody's uh, anybody's match at all throughout this uh, match. Uh, we had no idea who was going to win that. Uh, it had all kinds of uh, drama to it. But that is our last match for the night. Wow. All right, 10 a.m. match is going to be Jason Kirkwood versus Cody Myers. So be sure to uh, tune in for that. Yeah, that's 10 a.m. Eastern time. That's going to be a hot one. Yeah, it's like nothing but good matches from here on out, it seems. Yep. All right, see you on the a.m. Thank you guys for watching. Kevin and Sherry Ross, Railbirds. See ya. See ya.